God, come to my assistance. Lord, make haste to help me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Rapture thy church, O Lord, in mercy. Save it from evil, God, it still. Perfect it in thy love, united. Cleansed and conformed unto thy will. Those great ones scattered on the hillsides. Was in this broken bread made one. So from all lands thy church be gathered into thy kingdom by thy Son. Those who sow in tears will reap in joy. When the Lord delivered Zion from bondage, it seemed like a dream. Then was our mouth filled with laughter. On our lips there were songs. The heathens themselves said, What marvels the Lord worked for them. What marvels the Lord worked for us. Indeed, we were glad. Deliver us, O Lord, from our bondage, as streams in dry land. Those who are sowing in tears will sing when they reap. They go out, they go out, full of tears, carrying seed for the sowing. They come back, they come back, full of song, carrying their sheaves. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Those who sow in tears will reap in joy. May the Lord build our house and guard our city. If the Lord does not build the house, in vain do its builders labor. If the Lord does not watch over the city, in vain does the watchman keep vigil. In vain is your earlier rising, your going later to rest. You who toil for the bread you eat when he pours gifts on his beloved while they slumber. Truly, sons are a gift from the Lord, a blessing, the fruit of the womb. Indeed, the sons of youth are like arrows in the hand of a warrior. Oh, the happiness of the man who has filled his quiver with these arrows. He will have no cause for shame when he disputes with his foes in the gateways. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. May the Lord build Build our our house and and guard guard our city. He is the firstborn of all creation. In every way the primacy is his. Let us give thanks to the Father for having made you worthy to share the lot of the saints in light. He rescued us from the power of darkness and brought us into the kingdom of his beloved Son. Through him we have redemption, the forgiveness of our sins. He is the image of the invisible God, the firstborn of all creatures. In him everything in heaven and on earth was created things visible and invisible. All were created through him. All were created for him. He is before all else that is. In him everything continues in being. It is he who is head of the body, the church. He who is the beginning, the firstborn of the dead, so that primacy may be his in everything. It pleased God to make absolute fullness reside in him and by means of him to reconcile everything in his person, both on earth and in the heavens, making peace through the blood of his cross. 
Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. He is the firstborn of, of all creation. creation. In, in every, every way, way the primacy is his. Work with anxious concern to achieve your salvation. It is God who, in his good will toward you, begets in you any measure of desire or achievement. In everything you do, act without grumbling or arguing. Prove yourselves innocent and straightforward, children of God without reproach. To you, Lord, I make my prayer for mercy. To you, O Lord, I make my prayer for mercy. Heal my soul, for I have sinned against you. I make my prayer for mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. To you, O Lord, I make my prayer for mercy. The one who obeys God's law and teaches others to do so will be great in the kingdom of heaven. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God my Savior, for he has looked with favor on his lowly servant. From this day, all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him in every generation. He has shown the strength of his arm. He has scattered the proud in their conceit. He has cast down the mighty from their thrones and has lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things, and the rich he has sent away empty. He has come to the help of his servant Israel, for he has remembered his promise of mercy, the promise he made to our fathers, to Abraham and his children forever. Glory to the Father and to the Son, unto the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. The one who obeys God's law and teaches others to do so, will be great in the kingdom of heaven. 
Blessed be Almighty God, who watches over us as a Father. He knows all our needs, but wants us to seek first his kingdom. Let us cry out to him as his people. May your kingdom come, that justice may reign. Father of all holiness, you gave us Christ as the shepherd of our souls. Stay with your shepherds and the flock entrusted to them. Do not leave this flock without the loving care of its shepherd. Do not leave your shepherds without an obedient flock to follow them. May your kingdom come that justice may reign. Teach Christians to help the weak with loving care and in serving them to serve your Son. May your kingdom come that justice may reign. Gather into your church those who do not yet believe and help them to build it up by good deeds done for love of you. May your kingdom come that justice may reign. Help us to turn to you for forgiveness, and as you forgive us, reconcile us also with your church. May your kingdom come that justice may reign. May the dead pass from this world to eternal life, to be with you forever. May your kingdom come, that justice may reign. Our Father, who Lord art in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Let us pray. Lord, during this Lenten season, nourish us with your word of life, and make us one in love and prayer. Grant this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, God, for ever and ever. Amen. May the Lord bless us, protect us from all evil, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen.